Hi guys, welcome back to Salt and Light. Uh, in today's video, we're going to travel back in time a little bit and uh, look at uh, the chain plates and what was required uh, to get the um, chain plates made. We're going to look at uh, the thimbles, the metalwork. Uh, we're going to look at the carbon fibre uh, strapping that was uh, put on to hold them in place and also uh, the fiberglass schedule, getting them ready uh, to be put onto the side of the uh, hulls. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Today I'm going to start uh, preparing the chain plates. Now these are uh, bits of plywood uh, that have uh, been skinned. So I've taken some of the layers of ply off. Uh, that was done on the, in the CNC process. And, uh, and I'm going to replace those with a, uh, two layers of 600 gram uh, unidirectional. To make sure I get the uh, absolutely best adhesion, I start off by applying one coat of resin to the panels uh, and work that in. And then I give another coat of resin uh, before applying uh, the mat. So there's an additional uh, piece of 600 gram cloth uh, applied here and this is where the carbon fibre strapping uh, will be adhered to. And I finished the whole thing off uh, with a layer of peel ply. It's, uh, it's only about 2 degrees so um, <laughs> no resin work today. Uh, the West resin has a minimum uh, working temperature of uh, of four degrees, so uh, <laughs> no resin work today. So I thought I'd just continue on with the um, the chain plates. I had to put some uh, some hardwood uh, timber wedges um, underneath the thimbles uh, to support them. So I thought I'd make those up today. I've uh, trimmed up the two chain plate panels, so uh, they're all being cleaned up uh, on the edges. And uh, yeah, it's just started to look at this uh, hardwood wedge. Now I thought the easiest way to do that would be to reuse or repurpose um, my scarfing jig that I used uh, to uh, scarf the plywood for the doubling flange. Uh, and I've been able to do that and it worked pretty well. I'll we'll show you how that works. Uh, so I've just uh, cut up some blocks of, um, of hardwood and I'll get that, put them through the jig and uh, create some wedges and then I'll glue all of those together and onto the back of the um, of the chain plate and I'll show you how all that goes together now. And this is what the uh, timber wedges will look like. So what will happen will be there'll be carbon strapping um, around uh, over this one, um, this one and this one and of these two here will be where the spectra uh, line um, which will run, wrap around uh, several times and will connect to the upper and lower shrouds. So I glued the thimbles on just with a bit of resin and I'm just cleaning that resin off now and uh, making it nice and flat. I uh, was really fortunate I had my friend Scott come and uh, help us do the uh, carbon fibre strapping. Now the design called for um, 11 layers of 500 gram uh, strapping, uh, but we were only able to get uh, 650 gram. Uh, so I've done uh, nine layers, uh, which is actually a little bit thicker than what the design called for. And off camera, uh, we're wetting the strapping out first uh, and then applying uh, the strapping wet uh, to the panel.
To help with the fairing process, we uh, stagger the ends of the tape as we add the layers. In the process, we also fan out the ends of the tape. Uh, this also helps uh, with creating a, uh, a larger gluing surface. Once the carbon strapping is, uh, has dried, we um, clean it up and we fair it as much as we can and then another layer of 600 gram uh, glass is then placed over the top of the carbon fibre. So once the chain plates are to this stage, uh, we're able to then uh, get them ready to glue them onto the side of the hull. To start this process, we um, paint all the surfaces with um, straight uh, west resin, and then we'll apply uh, some thickened um, epoxy uh, to act as a glue uh, to all the surfaces as well.
try whenever possible uh, to get the fillets in uh, while the resin is still wet uh, from gluing the panel on. Uh, it just helps in getting a, a, uh, a really good uh, chemical and um, mechanical bond to the joint. This is the drawing detail that I have for the chain plate and the thimbles and the uh, spectra line and how it all goes together. So I thought I'd get the blocks out uh, just so that I can do a demonstration on how, uh, how it all will go together. So we're using an 8mm uh, spectra line uh, that will go around the thimbles and then come up and attach uh, to the blocks here. <laughs> and of course I'm not using a, uh, any sort of sprayed line to hold these blocks in place, um, but it's just a, a piece of cord just to show for the demonstration. Uh, but the upper and lower shrouds uh, will attach to these blocks here. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe and uh, yeah, leave a comment. Love to uh, read your comments. That's it for this video and we will see you on the next one. Thanks guys.